In this video, I'm gonna show you the right way to tape your parts. Taping your parts is a really good idea. <laughs> a lot of times when you're in band or jazz band or orchestra or wherever, the band director or orchestra conductor will pass out music that was photocopied and you get a bunch of loose leaf pages for your part. The most obvious reason to tape your parts is so that they all stay together in your folder. Uh, there's no question whether you have all the pages when you pull a song out. The other really important reason is it's just easier on you. <laughs> you can look at three page spreads easily on a music stand because they're all sort of holding themselves in place. That said, there are two methods for taping your parts, both of which are great that I'm gonna show you right now. The first one, the one that most of you are gonna be doing, which is the, the really cheap and easy one that all you need is scotch tape and some sheet music. Both methods that I'm gonna show you use uh, what we call the accordion method, where you tape the front, then you tape the back, then you tape the front, then you tape the back for as many pages as you have. Most of your parts are only gonna be two or three pages long, but if you have a 12 page long chart, you're gonna do it this way. Put the first two pages on the table in front of me facing up, very important. Then I put one big long piece of clear scotch tape right across the seam between the two pages. Uh, I'll fold over whatever's left over the top and the bottom, maybe a half inch or so, um, and that'll reinforce that part. Then I flip those two pages over and attach the third page on the back. So I attach, I, I line it up on that side, put a big piece of tape, and then if I have more pages than that, keep repeating. At a certain point, you want to fold up the previous pages <laughs> Unless you have a much bigger table than I do. <laughs> um, if you did this correctly, when you fold it up, all of the folds should have tape on the outside. That's really, really important because if you, if you taped the back of the fold, you're going to have a sticky spot that's going to stick to all the music in your folder. And that's, that's not good. <laughs> uh, this is the way I tape music for Pandemonium Big Band <laughs> when we're in person. Um, and it's what I do for my clients uh, when I... I'm gonna be bringing an arrangement uh, in front of a band at Capitol or Henson or any of these really big studios in LA. First of all, you wanna use a thick stock paper, at least 60 pounds, but I'll use 70 or 80 pounds sometimes too. Uh, then what you do is you line the two pages up, same as the other method, but in this case, I'll take a couple of squares of scotch tape and I'll put one near the top and one near the bottom of the seam. And this is really just to hold it in place. Then I take half inch artist tape not masking tape, artist tape. <laughs> and I'll put one big giant uh, piece going along the entire seam. Uh, then I don't just tear it with my hand, I grab a razor blade and I hold it down on the page and I pull the tape up against the razor blade, making a perfectly clean cut, giving your music a super, super professional look. And again, if you did this properly, all the folds should have tape on the outside. All right, that's enough for now. <laughs> if you haven't yet, click subscribe, hit the like button, and check out my Patreon. All right, until next time, goodbye.